Welcome Cancers, I'm back with another video for you guys for the month of August. I was just pulling you guys this energy and I do have a message for you guys. Um, I feel like some of you guys may be trying to um, take something too serious. Um, I'm getting that you may need to have fun with this, okay? Or you are having fun. Maybe you are having fun because I got play. So maybe you are having fun, but we got don't dim your light to fit in. Okay, so I'm also getting like, some of you are like in a group setting and you may feel like you need to um, compare yourself to others or something in that nature but spirit wants you to know that you don't have to dim your light to fit in be your true unique self um i'm also getting answer the call okay so this is what is your soul calling you to do okay so some of you are trying to find your calling some of you are trying to find your calling you're connecting with other people but spirit wants you to know to have fun with this, okay? Um, it may not be a time to to take things so serious. Have fun with this. Have fun, celebrate, and don't be so serious. Okay, so I'm getting those messages directly from spirit. Let's jump into tarot and let's see what messages we have for you guys for the month of August. I'm just getting like you guys taking something way too serious when you should be having fun with it. Um, some of you guys are trying to find where you belong. Like some of you are trying to find out where do you fit in? Where do you fit in? In a group setting or like um, I'm getting like a group setting. A group setting. That's what I'm getting. I'm not sure if some of you are like dimming yourself down, um, trying not to shine too bright, just to kind of like blend, but spirit is saying to have fun with this and, and don't take it so serious. Okay, so let's see what messages we have for August for Cancers. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and click the bell to subscribe. Um, Check out my merch, guys. It's right below the video. If you want to book your very own personal reading with the Empress, that information is in the drop box below as well. Don't forget to enter the money train ritual that we have going on. Guys, let's, we're focusing and zooming in on career and finances for the month of August. So if you want to join, um, contact me via email. We'll get you set up. All right. So let's talk about it. August Cancer. What message is there for cancer for the month of August? Yeah, see, I got the King of Pentacles and a Three of Cups. So I really do feel like like you're in a group setting of some sort. Like a group. I'm getting like a money circle. <laughs> King of Pentacles and the Three of Cups here. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Three of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But I'm getting, like like I said, a group of people, like, talking about money here. So, you could be, like, in a social group, in some type of group. Um, if this is social media, this could be, like, um, like, a business group chat or something. I'm getting, like, a group of people, possibly, like, you guys are talking about money. I'm getting that. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, see, something about splitting. Some, some of you guys may uh, be dealing with the Capricorn here, with the Devil card here. But I'm also getting, like, having to split. There's some type of split, okay, like a three-way split. Three of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, and a Five of Pentacles. 
So I'm getting like a three-way split here. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting like there's multiple people here. The two of the two of pentacles and the two of swords. Okay, so you haven't made up your mind on if you want to go uh split. I'm getting like the splitting something three ways. I'm getting it, like, but I feel like you're uncertain about it, but it's possibly in the air, you know, a thought. So let's see. Cancer for the month of August. All right, so we got the Six of Wands. So you're feeling very victorious. You're feeling on top of your game. You may be getting a lot of recognition. You're in the spotlight. Yeah, see, look, you winning, Ace of Pentacles. So you're thinking about, <laughs> I'm getting like a job well done, like congratulations. I'm hearing congratulations. We got the Seven of Swords here. Maybe you feel like somebody's trying to steal the spotlight or take the spotlight. We got the King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Six of Wands is also attention as well. Somebody trying to gain attention. We got you guys' energy with the Queen of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And we got the Ten of Swords for future energy. Okay, so you're anxious to move up. Uh, for some of you, this is work-related, like career-related. Some of you are anxious to move up. I'm getting like a moving up in the company. Um, but I'm just getting like a congratulations job. Well done. Um, Seven of Swords here. I do want to see why the Seven of Swords is here. With the lovers. Wow. All right. So, Gemini's energy. I'm getting a spy. There's an informant. I'm getting a spy. The Page of Swords and a High Priestess. This is you guys' energy with the high priestess here, the Pisces' energy as well. But definitely a spy. Or you're watching how someone moves. I'm getting that as well, too. Could be a Gemini or a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Why is the lovers here? Okay, the Six of Pentacles. And the Three of Cups and the King of Pentacles again. Most of Six of Wands here. Somebody's fighting for somebody's attention with the five of wands. I'm getting like, you feel like you won a battle. <laughs> like you came out on top. I'm getting like, you came out, you're trying to come out on top. Like that's the main focus because we got your energy as the nine of swords, which is like, this is constantly on your mind. Yeah, like you feel like you won, you're you're winning, okay? When it talks about money or opportunity, Eight of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles, I'm getting money talks, especially here with the Magician here, okay? So it looks like you're manifesting something. You're making new rules or you're setting new boundaries. You're setting, set, I feel like you're setting something up to where you can win. Like you're setting up some type of system to where you win. Why is the eight of wands here? Yeah, see, you're trying to get some good news about some money. Okay, so sun card is Leo's energy. A Leo could be involved, but I'm getting good news about money. Okay, I think I got this energy for um, Sagittarius. I got the same energy, like money is <laughs> money is the goal right now or an opportunity opening up the the window of an opportunity here 
King of Wands is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, but this is taking action. Okay, so I feel like, yeah, you're taking action. Okay, you're taking action or there is a fire sign involved here. Sagittarius with the Temperance card and the King of Wands. I feel like you stop uh, opening up or talking so much or or putting so much on a table verbally in the past. And now you're just focusing on making sure that you come out on top. Like when it comes to emotions and feelings and opening up, I feel like you are done with that. Like you feel like it's too much. You feel like it's too much to be um, as open or communicate your truth, tell your truth. So some of you guys may have decided to shut down and only focus on your pentacle. Why is the ten of swords here for future energy? Yeah, something's over and you're moving on. Ten of swords and the six of swords. And you're focusing on yourself. Okay, nine of pentacles, you're bettering yourself. And like all the way around the board, like you're focused on you. Nine of Swords is how you feel. Yeah, see, you have possibly anxieties about a job or money or your finances or a family unit. But I got this Three of Cups and this King of Pentacles here and the Queen of Pentacles here. This is a, a group setting. I'm getting like three people here. You and possibly a Virgo Taurus Capricorn or someone. Like, it's just my money, okay? Like, money is on your mind. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, see, you're planning for the future. You're, you're planning ahead with the Two of Wands. Others see you as kind of like, kind of withholding and may come off as a little selfish um, with the Four of Pentacles energy here. And they could feel like you're holding on to regrets with the Five of Cups. Like crying over spilled milk. People's, uh, people um, are viewing it as well as, like, you've tried, but um, you, you've been putting in the work into something, but you turned around to have regrets, okay? Um, I, it looks like in your hopes and fears, you're trying to walk away from something. You're, you're hoping to leave something alone for good because we got the Ten of Swords and the Six of Swords for your future energy, and your hopes and fears is the Eight of Cups. So you're definitely walking away from a situation. King of Pentacles keeps wanting to reveal itself. Um, lots of money talk. Why is the Justice card here? Okay, I'm getting um, some type of legal agreement. I'm getting a legal agreement. This could also be like a marriage with somebody's legally married here with the Justice and the Hierophant together. Taurus energy and Libra energy. But I'm getting like new rules, like a um, why is the higher fit here? Judgment, yeah. Like you're making a final decision on something. You're making a final decision on something here. And I feel like some of you guys are trying to be strong. You're trying to show your strength. But you're definitely focused on something right here. And you're leaving something or someone behind. Why is the Six of Swords here? The Empress. We had the magician at the bottom of the deck too. Um, so you're you're focused on yourself. Like I'm getting like separated from home or a separation as well too. 
somebody could be at their mother's. I'm getting like the Empress and the Four of Wands could be someone's wife, someone separated. I'm also getting like someone's uh, sleeps at someone's house. Could be a mother house, an aunt house, or some female. I'm getting feminine energy. Maybe you decide to move on because you find out that someone is lives with someone. Why is the Four of Wands? Somebody's asking to, um, is wanting to be invited over. King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be an air sign. Male. I'm kidding. I see that you guys are trying to stay strong on a situation. And you're trying to stand your ground. You're trying to show your strength. Like, you're trying to show um, your strength here. And if there's a battle, you're trying to make sure that you win it. I like that energy for you guys. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. And I will chat with y'all later. Until next time.